And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Grixis control in Standard 2020. That's right, we're doing another Standard 2020 day to day. Um, I've been enjoying playing the decks and, and you know, making these and um, lots of positive reviews from y'all also uh, really liking this format and just a lot of people playing the format as a way to level up right now to, to get those last mastery levels. So we're going to go ahead and uh, play this format again today. I got four new decks. I guess the Chandra Tribal isn't new. We played that last week, but that's my favorite deck in this format. So I'm saving that one for last, saving the best for last there. Um, but then we got three new ones here with Grixis Control, Abzan Hero, and Simic Yoink. So let's try these out. So Grixis Control is, is kind of tough, honestly. Uh, some things that, that are rough, we have our mana base. We have to play Dismal Backwaters and Bloodfell Caves because, um, you know, we need a lot of black sources. I'm also going with three Interplanar Beacons in here to gain life off of all these planeswalkers whenever we cast them. So I'm, I'm going with the beacons, try to gain some life. The beacons hopefully uh, help us out as far as casting Nickel Bull as Dragon God as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I think our Grixis, I think Grixis, like we need a good amount of sweepers. So we got three Cry of the Carnarium and three Ritual of Sud. Like basically our goal here is to, to beat the aggro decks. So we got those. Um, and as you can see here, I'm not going with any creatures. So I'm not playing Kefnet. I, I want to try to go creature list to just blank opponent's creature removal. Um, we do have, I mean, we have like Ugin that can make creatures though. And then Karn can grab creatures from the sideboard as well. So I guess we do have a, a couple of creatures there. But I wanted to try out Karn here in the best of one format, you know, because ha having access to a sideboard where other people don't is pretty nice. And, you know, you get to Demonic Tutor through 15 cards even if our 15 cards aren't spectacular we have i'll kind of talk about each each one here so bag of holding uh can just be a, a card advantage engine of just the the two mana uh looting effect draw discard that's basically what we're doing with that card graph tears cage shuts it down experimental frenzy and um can also stop parts of uh, command the dread horde and stop bolus citadel uh, regulator is also an, um, a rummaging effect for a card advantage engine, plus can activate this Chandra Awakened Inferno twice. So, you know, not a lot there, but, you know, that's something. Mask of Immol Immolation uh, can just be, like, can go get us a two-mana 1-1 one, one that can do one damage to anything. So, like, you know, just a two-mana deal one damage to something. Maybe they, like, minus a Teferi that we want to ping off or, or something like that. Or maybe we need to have a blocker that we can block and then sacrifice and kill something else. Or, you know, maybe we want to kill a Risen Reef. You know, anything like that. Um, so that's Mask of Immolation. Guild Globe's just a, a cycler. Vial of Dragonfire, a more expensive thing to do two damage to a creature. Then we got Chromatic Lantern to fix our mana and ramp. Fire Mind Vessel, same thing, fix our mana ramp. We got Junk Troller as an 06. Uh, that, so, you know, it's a really good blocker. They can also put cards from our graveyard back onto into the bottom of our library. So, like if it's a if it's a really late game, um, we can keep put like planeswalkers that were killed and they're in our graveyard. Put them back into our library. That maybe our library gets shuffled, and then we have a better chance of drawing them, kind of thing. So we can kind of get some gas back into our library. Uh, Golos is a, a good blocker that also ramps. Uh, we can activate Golos with Chromatic Lantern. <clears throat> but we got that. Um, and then, you know, maybe we go, you know, you can go find like a gain life land or a scry land or, you know, go put an interplanar beacon into play to gain more life with that. We got our own Citadel, uh, you know, insane card advantage engine. We got a Bolus, or sorry, a, um, a God Pharaoh statue and two Meteor Golems to be able to grab. And then I have a Chamber Sentry that... <clears throat> You know, could be if we want like a, a blocker, you know, it's a three mana three three, or it could just be a threat to play like against control. Uh, because if we do have the chromatic lantern in play, then you know, we can even make it a five mana five five, and we can keep returning it back from our graveyard to our hand as well if they kill it. And you know, it can also do some damage to different targets, also real slow, but you know, it's just one of in our in our sideboard. So there's not a lot of great artifacts, but this is what we got. Over here, 
possible the Karn's not worth it, but I want to try it. I want to give it a try. Uh, also kind of trying to rouse Storm Conduit, even though we don't have spectacular things to minus, but, you know, maybe we get to, like, double the Devil or double Thought Erasure or something like that. Um, but, yeah, this is our deck. We'll see how it, how it goes. I, I'm i not sure if this is as good as, like, what, like, a Grixis, like, mid-range would be, you know, like, if you're playing Knight of the Ebon Legion, Dread Horde Butcher, uh, Legion War Boss, and Kefnet, and that kind of stuff. That may be a better Grixis deck, but I wanted to just to, to try full-on control and see how it went. So here we go. So we already played We played a long league with Sultai Kiora today. So we're going to play a little bit less matches with these. They also changed the payout. If you didn't see this, they changed the payout. So now it's play until you get two losses. And... If you just win one, you don't have to win two in a row for 500 XP. If you just win one, you get 50 XP. If you win, if you win the two in a row, or you know, you know, you can go two and one, you get 150 XP. So you know, you get your 200 XP for just going two and one now instead of two and zero. Oh. And now, if you also go three and one, you get an extra 250. So that's a total of a lot. Uh, two, three, four, 450 XP. All right, so we are at rank 293. I guess you can't see that, but we're at rank 293. We'll see if we rank up or rank down with our standard 2020 decks. Hey, Irie. Yeah, it's definitely it's a it's definitely a good change. It's definitely a you get more XP change for sure. All right, well, let's draw lands. I don't know, like... Oh, I thought I was on the draw, honestly. Ugh. This is a little more rough keeping on the play. Having two fives and a six, we need to draw lands. Oh, it's just 250 for winning the three games? Okay, it doesn't... They don't add together. Oh, right, because it... Okay, yeah. So, sorry, my bad. So, it's just 50, then 150, then 250. Okay. This could be Team or Flash. Could be... Yeah, it's, it's probably Team or Flash, which... Um, there are... There are a lot of Flash decks that we've been playing against in these events... And I do have to say that the, the flash decks are likely our worst matchup with this deck of, you know, playing expensive planeswalkers. Probably our worst matchup. Okay, or maybe this is not a flash deck. Maybe it is. Who knows? Yeah. I just got Sahili for some 1-1s. One Yeah, I could, I could make an anti-flash deck. We could do that. You know, shifting Ceratops, Shawn, six mana Chandra, some good uncounterable stuff. Play some some can't be counter tribal. We. We don't likely have a shot here. It's very unlikely that we have a shot. Yeah, I think this is a reclamation. Yep. So they have Quench and Ionize. Yeah, basically the the counter spell decks are going to be kind of tough for us be, because we have such expensive cards now. I should not have kept that hand on the play. I honestly thought I was on the draw, but even then I probably should not have kept that hand. Ugh. Again, we have two of our three six mana cards in our opener here. At least we're on the draw this time. 
But again, if we don't draw lands, we lose. I'm not going to do it. I mean, we do have a good amount of Planeswalkers. But they're like the... We want to have our like our lands and our interaction first and then, you know, draw into like the Planeswalkers in the late game kind of thing. I got rid of Karn because Karn... Karn in our deck is not really like a, a good turn four play. Karn's like a, a good when it's really late gameplay. You know, it's just the one of there. Many have challenged me over the ages. None have prevailed. Quell your temper. Hey, Paul. Uh. All right, maybe this was a bad idea. If we're just gonna play against my domain. flash decks all day. That was a good draw step. The plan there was to scry to look for like a bedevil or something. So yeah, they were going to be able to ultimate, draw millions of cards. Well, I knew I was gonna. <clears throat> I knew my deck was gonna be really, really rough against flash decks. You don't beat counter spells by playing a bunch of five and six mana planeswalkers. That's not how you beat uh, counter spells. All right. Well, this is the best hand we've seen so far. We actually have good mana. Three lands in our opener. So, yeah, thank you so much there, Joe. Thanks. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I really appreciate that. Do you think Tor Barn Tor Torbran Torbran is going to be tier one with Cavalcade? I think it's definitely going to be played, you know, tier one or not. That's who knows. And that's pretty subjective and everything too. Like I don't know, but it's it's definitely good enough to see play in that deck. Like it, I think it is. It's really good with, um, in particular, it's really good with uh, three mana Chandra. I was kind of hoping they were going to play Nyssa here, where we get to bedevil Nyssa and then untap in Ritual of Soot. Whoops. Thank you. So I don't really necessarily want to just Ritual of Soot away or cry away just the, the one O2.
So they did scry to the top, which is a bad sign for me. All right, now please no Nissa or Agent of Treachery. Perish. Really don't want to see Nissa or Agent of Treachery. Yuck. This is what we're going to be playing later on. Definitely considered ticking up. <laughs> All right. So Simic decks. Simic decks go over the top of control. I think we've figured this out. I think we have figured this out. Simic is very good against Grixis. Phase 3 Simic weren't really too competitive in any of them. Hey, hey kab Kebabbers. Thanks so much for the Twitch Prime sub there. I appreciate that support. So, we'll see if we get paired against Simic again. Hopefully not. Looks like you lose three matches in a row and you go down 400 spots. went from two something to six something. I don't, I mean, stealing stuff isn't really that big of a, a thing in this, in this format. It's very similar to A regular standard. I mean, it's it's not something that's, that's that popular. But but yeah, there's a little bit of Tristani around. I mean, I don't know. I'm playing Tristani next next deck. We're playing Tristani. So I wanted to cry the Carnarium. But lead Tajik mentors onto the Sky Knight. <clears throat> so we don't really get to do that. But good patience. Patience is rewarded. We'll 
We'll see if they have integrity. That'd be a bummer. Well, that doesn't... That doesn't work. Alright, well, we get a three for one. Alright, so... Yeah, uh, the thing about Grixis, Grixis has always been a deck that has a really good sideboard. It's always been a deck that has like one of the very best sideboards in the game. And so Grixis best of one is is really up against it. Cuz it's always been a deck that's that's about sideboard. It's it's not a good best of one deck. But I know I just had I've had a lot of people that have been asking this for a Grixis control for this format, so I'll put this together, but this is not the format for Grixis. But what we are good against are small creature decks. Like what our opponent was just playing. So that's those are the kind of de you know, like there is a lot of aggro in best of one, so like that's what we want to get matched up against. So we it's not like we're we're just gonna lose all of our matches. Like we wanna we want to get paired against small creature decks. We have a good shot there. The uh, Simic decks, not as much. For the whole best of one hand fixing thing, I haven't had like many lands. I really like the look of like Grixis aggro after rotation with Knight of the Ebon Legion, Dreadhorde Butcher, Riding Regisaur, and the Royal Scions. I think the Royal Scions paired with those three creatures is really, really powerful. You know, giving giving Riding Regisaur um, first strike and trample. Giving Knight of the Ebon Legion, like, that gets to pump to be a, a big creature with Death Touch. Giving that thing first strike and trample. And even the same thing with Dreadhorde Butcher. Dreadhorde Butcher with trample. And first strike, you know, like, getting... Getting those. I, I really like that. And then, you know, like, if, if you don't have those, you know, your Royal Scions can, can loot for you. And then you can have Dragon God at the top end. Um... So I like that. Even just even playing like the the one three that loots, um, you know the the blue black one three for three mana, that has life link and death touch. You know, giving that thing first strike trample. You know, first strike death touch. Is amazing. Nope, I don't have any donation deck scheduled for any days this week, Kendis. Besides. Um, besides Jeskai Hero on Saturday. That's the only one there. Uh, well, this is bad. Simic again. Alright, well, I like this. I like how there's only one land there, because I really need to draw land. So I like that there was only one land. I need to draw land and ritual set here. Certainly possible I should have kept the devil instead of Thought Erasure, but these Simic cards. No lands. They're also busted. But trying to get action. them out of hand is good. So I want to take Sip, but I don't really want to show them that I have Ritual of Soot. I guess we still just take Soot. <sighs> Two Nissas? Kidding me? Let's deal with this. Together, we 
will prevail. No, Drown in the Lock is very good. That is not... Yeah, Drown in the Lock is very good. That will definitely see play. I have reached my limit. Um, Enter the God Eternals. As far as control goes, Enter the God Eternals looks to be a pretty good card because Questing Beast is ridiculous. Questing Beast should be everywhere. It's my expectation, at least. Enter the God Eternals at least kills Questing Beast, but then also helps turn on uh, Drown in the Lock. Or also helps, or you can mill yourself to turn on the new blue 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 legendary artifact whatever that thing's called so likely likely going with like kefnet enter the god eternals is the way to go here i i tried the planeswalker route here with this deck but it looks like i probably tried the wrong route okay all right so we're gonna play in jeskai hero in the third slot for each of the next three days sounds good perfect Um, it's basically going to hold the ritual of set for a turn. have one play but I guess they get they do get to ultimate Nissa the land will help us find a way All right, so my thinking here is that they probably have another Nissa or a Krasis. If it's a Nissa, you know, I get... So get to negate Nissa. Are you kidding me? They just have the fourth one. We will not fail. Behold, well, I tried. True power. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, I knew I knew that I I had to have a counter spell for another Nessa, but they have a, a fourth one. Whatever. All right, so if I would have... The turn the turn that I played Coil and Held Up... Or whoops, wrong deck. The turn that I played Coil and Held Up... Um, negate, if I go... I didn't have five mana though, because we had a tap land, so I couldn't Dragon God that turn. But that's really the turn I needed to Dragon God to kill the Nissa. If I just go Ritual of Soot there, then I don't have another Soot, but then I can play Dragon God, kill Nissa. I don't know. That was gonna be tough. All right, so our deck didn't work. Uh, we went 0-4 against Simic decks. Uh, they're just the Simic Ramp decks. They're just. Uh, 
too good for our deck. Our cards did not line up. We didn't have... Uh, we were too slow, didn't have good mana, and all that kind of stuff. They just outramped us. Just Risen Reef, Nyssa, Krasis, Cavalier of Thorns, Agent of Treachery. Couldn't beat those cards. Uh, and then also Simic Flash. Uh, our cards are too expensive, and we didn't have lands anyway. Against the counter spells and Simic Reclamation also. Um, so yeah, basically couldn't... Couldn't beat Simic at all. So we went 1-0 against non-Simic, 0-4 against Simic. Um, I went, so, like, I, I talked about this at the beginning. You know, I wanted to try this with, like, the different Planeswalkers uh, and everything. Um, really have this tuned towards beating. Like, this deck, I think you have a good shot against small creature decks, and I think you have a, a pretty good shot against, like, other c control decks with all the Planeswalkers. But... Simic decks are going to be our downfall, and it looks like everybody's on Simic decks, so um, we're not going to not going to do too well there. Yeah, I'm going to be spending all this gold on on packs whenever the new set comes out. Yep. Um, <clears throat> if you kind of missed some of the games, we were talking about it during the games where uh, Grixis is the kind of deck that really relies on the sideboard. And so best of one, Grixis has always been a pretty rough choice. But I think that, you know, I wanted to try this out, but I think that now trying it out, uh, there's two different ways I would go with this. I think that going more Grixis aggro slash midrange with Knight, Butcher, and then Thief of Sanity or War Boss at your three mana slot and, and that kind of stuff. And Kefnet, that would be the way to go. Or also, if we're going control, I think I probably should be playing Kefnets with Enter the God Eternals. But still, those matchups that we played against, uh, I don't, don't know if that would really help too much. Um, but there we go. So that's Grixis Control. If you want to play Grixis Control, just try to dodge Try to dodge Simic. You know, it's not... 80% of the metagame is not Simic. That's what we played against here. Um you know, play against the small creature decks. There's definitely those around, and there's other control decks and stuff. Play play those matches. Try to dodge a Simic. Uh, do better than I did at that. All right. So if you're watching later on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And uh, feel free to leave comments as well. Let me know what you think about <clears throat> Grixis, if you're playing it in this, if you're having success, or what you think about Grixis in the next format. Which we also talked about that during the videos, uh, some other good things about Grixis in the next format. But uh, there we go. So thank you so much for watching Grixis Control, and I'll see you for the next video.